Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Brandy from Cambridge Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, we are learning Bootstrap 5 and in this particular video, we are going to look at Bootstrap Nava. So I took a little break and released the other video which has to do with the portfolio website and I think is a good example for almost everything we've learned so far and it includes some of the things I'm going to talk about in this particular video and other subsequent ones. So inside of Bootstrap, of course, there's the bootstrap website i always leave the link in the description below and here we have components so inside of components we have to bear in mind we have navs and tabs okay that's a different thing altogether but i mean almost the same but we are going to look at navbar for this particular video so i'll click on navbar so the documentation is very important and it says documentation and examples of bootstrap's powerful responsive navigation header the navbar and it's saying it includes support for branding navigation and more including support for our collapse plugin and uh, how it works there are quite a number of information over here and there are quite a few things over here but there are some interesting key points um, i would want to share with you and it says an example of all subcomponents included in a responsive light themed navbar that automatically collapses at the large breakpoint. Okay, the large breakpoint, and these are the supported content or the subcomponents. So, inside of the navbar, you are going to have something called the navbar brand. Okay, and if I'm to use this website as an example. This is going to be the navbar brand and that's where you have normally your logo or your brand showing up over here and these are some of the nav elements over here so it says the supported content you have the navbar brand you also have the navbar so it says oh, for your company products or project name or maybe the logo and it says the navbar for a full height and lightweight navigation including support for drop downs and there's a toggler and the toggler is very important over here because the toggler will be very useful with the mobile devices this is for use with our collapse plugin and other navigation toggling behavior and there's a flex for spacing and all that all right so what i'm going to do with this particular example is here we have a number of examples over here so it says this includes all the sub components so i'm just going to copy this click on this link over here come into vs code and just about here paste it over here and save so like i always say i'm using the pretty extension so anytime i type or put in something over here and save it automatically formats it for me so let me go back here and here we have the navbar so it's very interesting there are some few things over here we are going to look at so if we are to come into the code, this is where the navbar starts and it ends somewhere down there. But as you can see, we have the navbar, that's the main class, and you have the navbar expand LG. It's very important to keep note. So it is always going to behave normal at the large screen size or the breakpoint. Then whenever it goes anything below the large breakpoint, then it begins to shrink. And collapse a lot of the things over there so let me show you now if i'm to shrink this just about the large big point if i go anything beneath the large big point then clearly it collapses everything and now you have the toggler over here and when i click on the toggler it behaves this way and if it gets to the small screen size you are definitely going to see the same thing and we can change a number of things over here. So what I want to do over here is you can experiment some of these things yourself. So we can actually change this LG to let's say MD. So when it is MD and let's shrink this, you can see that it is not going to change until we go beyond or below the MD. So even if it gets down this way, we are still going to see this showing up over here. Okay. Remember when it was LG, it will immediately collapse when we get here so it is until we get to the md breakpoint that 
it collapses okay anything below the md it collapses all right but i think the lg the default lg is good enough okay you just have to know what it actually means now you also have the bg light and the navbar light over here we can actually change this to let's say dark okay so when i do bg dash dark over here the navbar changes to dark you can see that the text in here is also changing to dark okay it doesn't look cool we can actually also let me change this to dark for the navbar to dark and here we have something looking very pretty so you see me do this a number of times in other videos and this is just by way of an example the next thing i would also want to show is we can modify some few things over here and one of the things i usually normally i would always have to come and write this container class over here to shrink things up so you can see that this whole thing is in a container fluid okay we can put it in a container class so that there will be some margin in here but in this case it's actually going to behave like a pattern because it's going to be an internal distance okay and this is what i mean if we come in here and change this container fluid we just container and save and if we come back you can see that we have this space showing up over here. and that looks very cool okay like most of the navbar we see around so this looks very cool okay so we can use the contextual colors to change the colors over here or we can also add in our own colors okay and we are going to look at other examples later on but let me also show you some few things now in some examples most of the time what i do is i usually take off this sex section over here because if it is not something i'm going to use i definitely don't want to have it over there and that's going to be in this form so for the purpose of this example i'll just take it off and save and now you can see that that's vanished okay now what i want to do is normally this is what you see okay sometimes you see the brand at the left side of the screen then maybe the content over here then links the navigation links is at the opposite end okay and that's what i want to do over here and it's very simple we just have to change some few classes over here so this home link drop down and this disable link i want them displayed over here and in order to do so i just have to locate where they are okay and they actually found over here so there's this um div which has all these classes over here and as you can see you have the home over here you have the link i mean they are all wrapped up in this div now it is important to know that inside of this div there's a ul because they are all in a ul and on ordered list html tag and there's this um me dash auto over here now pay attention so as you can see me means margin end auto okay now when i do ms which is now going to mean margin start auto and save this you are going to see this being displayed to the right okay and that's just about it if you want to change this you just have to do it this way and you have them now what about if we want to display it in the middle because there are some examples of nav bar where you have these links displayed in the middle that's also very simple we just have to come in here and just do m dash auto so when i save this m dash auto i see that this is now displayed in the middle it is very simple and you can have it any way that you want all right so this is just an example now there's also one thing i would want to show and let's say we have um some paragraph over here so let's say we have let me also put this in a container class okay so we have this container class over here and we have this paragraph and let's say we have lorem museum let me do 500 over here so that i have 500 dummy text or words over here so this is a paragraph the content i have over here and this is just about it okay now you can see that when i scroll down or when i scroll it scrolls alongside okay there are means and ways we can make it stick now look over here you can see that there's this nav and there's this section over here now when i scroll the nav goes along 
but when it gets to this section you can see that it sticks now first of all i'm going to demonstrate how we can make this nav stick okay then we can also bring a section just beneath it and make it behave like we have over here all right so in order to do so we just have to apply once again a bootstrap class so just on the nav okay let's come here just on this nav we can actually apply a, a position so that's going to be sticky dash top and that's just about it so sticky top is going to make it stick okay remember when we came here we did some position and i think yeah with this particular one this was position relative and this badge was position absolute we gave it so having done that we have this sticky top right on top of this nav so when i scroll it scrolls along but then when it gets to this nav you can see that it sticks to the top all right it sticks to the top and it is now behaving just as we have over here but not exactly the same okay so this is just one way of handling it okay now what i'm going to do is i'm just actually going to do something like this where we have this section showing up over here and yeah so i'm going to take this sticky top of this nav then so now it can scroll okay now i just want to have another section beneath it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come down here just before this so let me have an html semantic tag of section okay then within this section let me just have some bootstrap classes over here so first of all i don't want to have let's say um a bg dash light then i'll have the shadow class over here then i'd also want to have some kind of padding so i'll do a p5 okay just like this so when i save this and when i come here you can see that we have this section over here okay i don't know if it is very visible but then let me just add in some text over here so that you can see exactly what's happening so let me put in an h i mean a simple paragraph and let's see i type in section all right so this is what we have over here we have this section okay now when i scroll everything scrolls alongside now i just want to have this section stick to the top and all that i need to do is to come in here and come and add in sticky dash top so when i do sticky dash top and save and once i come here you can see that when i scroll the nav is going to screw alongside okay but then this section is now going to stick and it is behaving exactly as we have it over here okay all right so the application of some of these things are endless you just have to be creative around it and know what you actually want to do but understanding bootstrap the fundamentals are very important the rest of the things we have over here you can customize it to suit your own design or purpose all right so this is going to be the end of this video now you find this content very useful there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambro tech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambro tech we say learn programming you can do it bye bye